Hello everyone, my name is Griffin, and today I'm going to teach you how to make advanced terrain that looks just like this. If you've ever played Roblox Deathrun, you've seen terrain like this, and if you're interested in making maps, you've definitely tried to recreate it. A lot of people ask me how to achieve this sort of terrain, so I decided to make a tutorial video on it. To get perfect results, you're going to need four different plugins. These will all be provided in a link in the description. First, we need Resize Align, Gap Fill, Building Tools by F3X, and this more discreet plugin that's kind of hidden called Build V4. So first let's start with our dirt. So you can just spawn in any old brick here. Um, I usually like to have them two studs long because this will help us later. So as long as you have two studs on one axis, you'll be fine. Uh, so you make it brown. I usually make it slate so it looks like dirt and we can just raise this up to however much we want. I'm a bit picky so I'm going to do exactly eight studs high. All right, first step, let's go to plugins. We're going to open that build v4 tool. First thing you do is you're going to click this double triangle right here that says terrain. Once you've clicked that, you can hover the mouse over the side of your dirt and you'll see that a ghost sort of block appears. So that's exactly what we want. If we click, you'll notice it solidifies and becomes not transparent. Um, also, sorry about all these bouncing parts. You'll see when I move my mouse, that's just a thing the plugin does. It's kind of annoying, but that's what we have to deal with. So now that we have this, we can you see bend it just perfectly like this so it stays attached so we're just gonna make a few bends we're gonna repeat this with a couple of parts bending them in different ways just to get a variation it doesn't really matter how you do it of course you'll want to make it look good when you're actually making something but right now I'm just doing a curve because it's for demo purposes once you've made your successful line of dirt you can click off build v4 and select them all you're then going to open building tools by f3x first step you're going to go down here where it says clone which is shift c also you can click that and then you're going to use the resize tool the default increment should be one so we can just keep it on that move it one stud up and bring the rest all the way so now it's just one stud high as we can see here and that's what we want this is going to become our grass, so let's color it. Go into the cog tool and then you can choose a material, grass in this case, and then we're also going to choose a color. Deathrun usually uses bright yellowish green, it's just the color they use in the lobby and stuff, so I'll be using that. So we're going to go back to the resize tool and we're going to push these parts back. We're pushing them back because if this grass were to loop around backwards, we want the grass to be hanging off this way, right? So we push them the opposite way. So just push it back however much you want. You'll notice they kind of go into each other. We're going to fix that later. And then take the other end and push it back one stud. So now we have this space here. We're then going to clone the grass again and move this two studs forward and all the way forward. So, and just like this. So see what we're doing here? We now have two studs like this. And you'll notice it's hanging over a little bit. So we're getting there. We're then going to go to the rotate tool. The default increment should be 15, however, we're going to change that to 30. And make sure you set the pivot to local, that's extremely important, and I'll show you why. If you have it on center, which I think is the default, they all turn like this, and we don't want that. So you change it to local, and then they all turn independently. Uh, but something still looks wrong, so you're going to go to move, you're going to change the increment to 0.5. The default is 1, change it to 0.5. This is my secret formula. Then you just push it down like that. You'll notice now we're kind of getting to this hangover thing where it's hanging over the edge. You got the nice curves and it looks really good, but we still have some problems. Like what's going on with all this? There's a bunch of gaps here. How are we going to fix that? Well, let's do that now. The first problem I'm going to address is we see these little gaping holes right here. So first things first, this is a weird thing. Uh, we're actually going to open up resize align, click inner touch, and widen the holes even more. And I'll get to that in a second. And, and by the way, to use this tool, all you have to do is click on one surface and then click on the other and it just pries them apart. So that's, that's all you have to do for that. While we're in this tool, let's switch to outer touch and then we're gonna address these gaps right here. So we click both surfaces and it seals them shut. This is really the most tedious part of the whole process is gap filling and resizing these small gaps. That almost looks really good, but we still have these gaps right here. So, you guessed it, we're going to open gap fill. You're going to change the force direction to normal, it should be that on default. But instead of best guess, we want to do one stud for the part thickness, because these parts are one stud, so it just works out. And then you're simply going to fill them. 
you just click the edges here and it fills for you it's so easy just like that and look at that we are almost done we can get off this plugin now and we have this nice hanging over lush green foliage like that However, we have a few problems. We have some holes here and we have some Z fighting, as it's called, the parts glitching together. To fix the holes, you simply grab any part you want and just stretch it so that the holes disappear. The end is messy, you'll notice that's messy, but that's only because ideally we wouldn't see that. That would be blocked by terrain that's layered even more or by a wall or something. So you're gonna have messy parts at the end. So you'll just wanna hide them in some wall or something. The only problem we have left is the Z fighting. And this is a really easy fix, but you just gotta understand how it works. You click on a part where you see the Z fighting happening. I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna go to the property tabs here, scroll all the way down to where it says size. And then I like to do this little drop down menu just because it lets me see everything better. And where it says Y, it should say 1. We're simply going to do 1.001. And now you notice all the Z fighting on this brick is gone. However, there's still a bunch, so we're going to keep doing that. However, we can't use the same number because if I do 1.001 again, you'll notice now it's glitching with the previous part. So we're going to change it. 1.002. And that works. And you'll want to reuse numbers, don't be stingy, don't go all the way up to like, I don't know, you'll only need to go up to 1.005 is usually what I find. Uh, so this one is glitching over here and here, so we're going to go up one more, 1.003. I would do 1.001, except it glitches with this one, so we need to go up to 3. And then this one here is not touching, oh wait, it is touching, so we're going to have to go up to 1.004. Enter, there we go. And this last one is, oh, never mind. All right, we countered all the Z fighting. So look at that. Now we have this really nice looking terrain. There's no Z fighting. It's smooth, it looks modern, and it's ready to be in your death run map. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. And please tell me what you want to see next in the comments. I'd be happy to do more tutorials. Thanks for watching, guys. Good, good, goodbye.